Today, this 65 years old female presented to me with severe pain radiating to hemicranium, red eye, watering, unable to open eye in the light, sudden loss of vision in the left eye since yesterday. She said she was all right till yesterday evening uh, but then pain and decreased vision started eye becomes red inflamed and watery had nausea and vomiting two episodes last night and unable she was unable to sleep on examination i found right eye vision 6 9 intraocular pressure was 14 millimeter of mercury clear cornea normal to deep anterior chamber pseudo phacic for the last five years and normal fundus while left eye was red congested and patient was unable to open the left eye fully due to photophobia there was hazy cornea vision was hand movements intraocular pressure was 44 millimeter of mercury shallow anterior chamber there was reaction in the anterior chamber two to three millimeter fixed pupil sluggishly reactive pupil white swollen mature cataract and no fundal view so i diagnosed this patient as phacomorphic glaucoma left eye now what is phacomorphic glaucoma phacomorphic glaucoma is a lens induced secondary angle closure glaucoma that may occur when the mature cataract becomes intermittent or swollen and push the iris forward as well as block the pupil so that's the pathophysiology and the diagnosis is clinical there will be his same history of pain red eyes swollen cataract decreased vision high intraocular pressure and if you do gonioscopy you will found closed angle now most important differentials are phacolytic glaucoma and primary angle closure glaucoma so what will be the differential findings in angle closure glaucoma well that will be decided by the examination of the other eye the other eye in angle closure glaucoma patient will be having shallow anterior chamber narrow occludable angle and small hyperopic eye and lens is also not intumescent in the defective eye whereas in phacolytic glaucoma the lens is mature but the anterior chamber reaction is more and the anterior chamber is deep now in management initially you have to lower down the high intraocular pressure for our iop we give topical beta blockers and carbonic carbonic anhydrase inhibitors plus systemic carbonic anhydrase inhibitors and hyperosmotic agents like i have given this patient uh, timolol topical timolol dorzolamide tablet acetazolamide 500 milligram state followed by 250 milligram three times a day and iv manitol 200 ml or according to the weight you can give then you have to decrease the inflammation because the eye is inflamed for that i give topical steroids like prednisolone four times or six times a day and for pain any good oral painkiller can be given avoid parasympathomimetics like pilocarpine because it can worsen the pupil block keep iop lower for a day or two and then go for definitive treatment now what is definitive treatment removing the cause which is swollen into missing cataract here you can give iv manitol or oral acetazolamide tablet before surgery to keep the intraocular pressure low intraoperatively so that's how you manage a patient of phacomorphic glaucoma and after watching this video i hope you will not feel any difficulty in the diagnosis and treatment of such cases thank you very much